Well, welcome to my channel. My name is RP. Thank you so much for letting me steal some of your time as I take a look at Center Station Simulator Early Access. This is a solo developer, Adidas, and uh, it's pretty much a, a very early access game. Uh, my Discord has been playing it and they suggested that I play the game. And I'm very much uh, inclined to do whatever the people on my Discord tell me to do. And if you'd like to be one of those people that tells me what to do, uh, feel free to join us. I'll leave a link to the channel uh, in the description, as well as a link to the game. So let's get going here. Spent a few minutes in the game just getting a feel for what's going on. And from what I can tell, uh, this is where we live, which is pretty awesome. And we're going to head out and uh, pick up a package that was just delivered uh, by hitting the right mouse button. And we've got a letter from our grandfather. Father, and you guys can go ahead and read that and uh, go ahead and I'm done and we're going to continue on. So basically the game uh, is us inheriting this strip mall uh, that's in the middle of the uh, desert. The facility doesn't allow any type of uh, resource delivery. So we can't get trucks in there. So that's the premise of the game. We're kind of stuck in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but luckily for us, and this is our strip mall, let's take a look at it. All right, pretty pretty barren out here, right? Not a lot going on right now. But uh, we're going to change that, hopefully. And uh, if you guys are down, uh, please join me as we do it. And there's a road map that the developer has laid out. We'll just quickly run down here, and I'll show you guys we have... Uh, a couple of things. This is what's in the game and what's in progress. So there's uh, a lot in progress and a lot more to come. All right. So uh, the developer does have a full plate. And let's see how much we can get done. Everybody in the Discord has told me that they're having a blast with this, that it's very addictive. Uh, so let's find out how addictive it is. I'm going to run through the tutorial just by doing it. And uh, you guys can follow along that way. I, I prefer to just... Uh, you know, kind of glance up, read what I have to do, and then, you know, get it done. So it wants us to uh, build a foundation, and we're going to do that. I picked that up with E and uh, laid it down with E, and then I'm going to pick the box items up with the uh, right mouse button and then fill the blueprint uh, with the E button. I hope everybody's having a great day today. And uh, again, thank you so much for uh, the support for this uh, little channel of mine, my little YouTube hobby that I like to uh, do after work. I am a full-time worker who enjoys playing video games and making videos about the games from a perspective of just an average person that plays games, I guess, you know, no real hook there, but uh, it is what it is. And I try to show the game you know, the way it's uh, supposed to be played by the developer. And uh, I try to follow the game's progress. I usually, if a game's good, I'll participate in the Discord, things like that. Now, the tutorial is just telling me to build one of these, but uh, I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to build all of them because we are going to need them. And then we'll move on from there. That way, you know, that, it's done. This is this is just the way I play. It's, it's my style of... Uh, of how I play, I've got an idea here what the what the uh, first uh, order of business is here. You know, when they made us make the first one, so uh, you know I'm comfortable just going going ahead and creating all of them. Now the next step is to bring out our broom. We do have a little toolbar here, and the number one will bring up a broom, and we need to clean this off. Uh, notice the um, bar. We have an electric bar, and if we see more yellow boxes that means that these are filled with dust so that's our uh that's a good way for us to tell what's going on with our with our power source so right now we've gone ahead and cleaned that up and what it wants us to do now is uh, create some uh, planters down here in the basement and they're right here and we'll go into a build menu and what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to put my planters right in the middle of the room here and i'm just going to go ahead and turn this like this that looks uh fairly straight i guess that It'll be the center one right there and uh and then i'm going to build off of that and put another one right like that just lay these blueprints out and then we'll go ahead and get the planter boxes and we'll uh we'll fill them out and try to line this up as closely as i can that looks pretty good right there so i hope everybody's having a uh, a good day and i hope you're all doing well and uh again like i said thank you so much for uh the love and support that you guys give this little channel of mine as i uh you know try to make my way through these games and uh, uh, figure out what's going on just a dude sitting here in boston and i uh, uh like i said i enjoy making uh these little videos when i get off work and try to make a couple 
every week if I can and uh, definitely try to put out a couple more on the weekend, uh, you know, and balance life and work and all the rest of that stuff. So this is my idea. I'm going to grow right here in the center of the room and then use the wall space uh, to add any other things that uh, are going to be asked to be added. Does that make sense? I hope so. So let's move these, pick them up, and kind of place them uh, within reach of all of these uh, planters that we have to uh, build. And I noticed that when you put stuff down, if, you, if you're if you pointing towards the ground, you'll get a, uh, you know, kind of like a, a violent... Uh, uh, bounce effect with the box so it's a it's a good idea to keep keep it up and then drop it and that'll avoid that from happening you know just kind of my way around it all right so let me drop another one right here all right so we're gonna go do the same thing you know right mouse button e right mouse button e etc and we'll build ourselves uh, a lot of these planting plots uh, this is how we're growing wood because we're in the desert, makes sense, right? We can't uh, we can't grow wood in the desert, I guess. Although I've seen like trees in the desert, they're kind of uh, spindly and stuff. But uh, oh, I uh, hit the wrong button. <laughs> I will do that from time to time. Sorry, my bad. Excuse me. Let me put that in there. Looks good. All right, let's go ahead and continue on. And we'll get this done, and then we'll move along. Uh, you know, as we go. All right, so now we've got our six plots and we need to water these plots. So we're gonna go ahead and follow the uh, tutorial and grab some water. Going to go over here and check my uh, power supply. The yellow uh, dots are not showing that we need to, uh, but I just like to keep an eye. Uh, better safe than sorry. That's uh, that's my motto, right? All right, I'm going to hit this right here. I'm going to turn on the power. Now, there's nothing that indicates that I did anything. There's no feedback to the mouse. Uh, you just click start, and it is started. Should be moving. There it is. And we're gonna bring up our bucket with number two and then fill it with E. And we're gonna just fill these plots real quick with water and then we will start to grow our trees. All right, that takes care of the irrigation needs of our uh, plant boxes. Now let's go over here and grab some uh, seeds and we'll go ahead and get this uh, started. Thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out with me. I do appreciate it. And uh, like I said, if you guys want to see a playthrough, and I hope you do, uh, please uh, be kind, show some encouragement, maybe hit that like button. And if you think I deserve it, maybe uh, subscribe to my little channel. We like to play simulation and survival games. And like I said, I like to show it as uh, real as possible. I will make some cuts that avoid uh, you having to see repetitive things like watering, for instance. Like we don't need to see me running around six times to get water, uh, but we do need to see me run to the mine and uh, get a uh, stone because that's our next objective in this tutorial is we want to get some stone. So we're going to bring up our pickaxe. Uh, the stone we get right from here. And what I like to do is kind of stand right here and we're just going to go ahead and hit this. I'm going to make a bunch of piles. And uh, as soon as I see the piles stack up in front of me, I'll move on to another pile. And the goal is to get 10 stone. And uh, that's what we're going to try to do. But you also are apt to get clay. So we might have clay. We might have some stone. There's some stone right there. Okay, let's back it up and a clay on top. So we've got one, two, three, four. We've got five of the ten. So let's go ahead and sneak right in here. Let's put down another uh, stack of stone. See how much we get versus clay. And what I think I'll do is uh, I'm kind of like an overachiever. Instead of getting ten, I'm going to actually get twenty. That way I can make... Uh, two furnaces because that's what we're going to do with this stone is we're going to make our furnaces 
uh, in order for us to start smelting. All right, I got to hit that. There it goes, right there. Want to get one more there, right there. All right, so we've got some uh, stone. Let's see how much we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm going to go ahead and continue on here until I have 20. And once I have 20, uh, that'll let me make two furnaces instead of one. And I think that's a better way uh, to do it. That way we have... Uh, two pieces of uh, iron ore going because we're going to have to get iron ore going here. So, I've, like I said, I've played 20 minutes of the game, which included this much of it. So I kind of got a little sneak peek and I kind of know what we should do. The You know, that's going to put us in a better position. So what do we have here? We've got the 5 and the 10 and the 12 and the 14, 16, 18. We only need two more. That's not too bad. We should be able to get two more. I saw one drop. And I saw two drops. So that's it right there. There's 20. So let's get rid of this. And now we're going to toss these right in here. All right. This cool little magic, uh, uh, what they call the single item chest. Okay. And we get to play a little Jenga at the same time, right? Pull these out. Oh, that's clay. I don't need that. Going to drop that. I need this one. There we go. You think I... Look at this stack. Think I could take the bottom one? Oh, ho, ho, ho. that right there. Guys, come on. That should deserve a, a like on its own. Okay? If you stuck with me this far, uh, you, should, you should definitely hit the like button. I mean, come on. That was amazing. Right? That was amazing. All right. So let's throw all this stone in here. This, this way now we have enough to build two of these furnaces. Uh, and like I said, I'm an overachiever. Now, I don't know what happens to the clay. And we're going to make a little more of a mess in there before the uh, video's done. You know, because we're going to need some iron. But let's get the uh, furnace built. And this is what I'm loving about the game so far is everybody... Uh, is on the same page with this game, that it is uh, so fun and so addicting uh, to do the uh, build. All right, so let's go ahead and drop this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and push it out of the way. <laughs> i got to go ahead and empty it out. All right, there we go. I got all the stone out of there. Let's go ahead and open up our book. And under the campfire is the wood foundry. So let's go ahead and put our first wood foundry down. And I'm going to throw this stuff in here. Get these stone pieces in here. And build this up. Yeah, so we have to do uh, everything. Right, that on its own is uh, quite a different concept on these, uh, on these simulators, right? Where you inherit some kind of uh, business from your grandparent. And uh, this one is... Definitely got a, a different take on things. So we're going to build our second furnace, just like that. That way we have two of these going, which I think is a good idea. And uh, another thing, what I think I'm going to do is I'm kind of, and, and I'm just thinking of this right now. Like I said, my videos are unscripted, and I'm showing you how I would play the game. I'm following the tutorial, uh, but beefing it up a little bit, right? Instead of just doing the, the single item that it says to do, I'm kind of uh, going a little bit above. But it, it's for a good reason. I think it will, uh, it will definitely, I can actually speed this up. <laughs> It'll definitely work out. It'll definitely work out. Okay, so we have this going, but what we should do is just real quickly, let's just throw this on the ground, put this in the ground, because... Uh, once you harvest it, you get a free seed. All right, and sometimes you get two. So what I'm thinking is, let's get ahead of the game here, right? We're going to need a lot of wood. So let's just get this wood uh, going. By If we harvest it, then we can regrow it, is what I'm trying to say here. So I can just blow up a, a bunch of wood right there, because I'm running around like a crazy man. All right, we'll put this one right here. Pick up this seed, get that going, and there should be one more seed right there. All right, so 
got a new batch of wood going. We've got this wood going. And uh, in the meantime, what I'm going to do is just going to kind of wrangle this up over here. Pick, pick this one up. Put it over here. There we go. All right. So we've got a little stack of wood. And it wants us to head out now and get some iron ore. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. And again, oh, almost forgot something. Right? This is the average guy playthrough, man. It's not scripted. <laughs> Pick this up. We need this. We need this. We're going we're gonna to grab at least 12 iron. It wants us to grab uh, one. Uh, we're going to grab 12. Just so that we have 12. Because we're going to need 12 to build the two benches that I want to get built in this episode. And uh, that's the workbench and the uh, saw. So let's go ahead and drop this. Going to bring out our pickaxe, and much like the stone, uh, the ore uh, has many variations that are going to drop. The first one is coal. Let's see if I can call them out as they drop. That one, I believe, is aluminum. That actually looks like stone. I must have hit the stone right above it. That's what I did. All right, that right there is uh, what we're looking for. This is iron this is what iron looks like so we're going to toss one in there and we've only got uh 20 more to go not 20 i'm sorry 11 more to go i'm gonna get 12 i'm gonna get a dozen and uh if i sit like this i can see what's dropping but this is the part of the game the manual extraction of the ores is uh you know a grindy type of thing so that's why i'm gonna grab the 12 right now because if i want to make these two uh, starter benches, right? I want to make a workbench, and then I want to make a uh, the, the next bench is the saw bench. Uh, we're going to need this iron. So we're just going to go ahead and get it now. Once I have it, we'll head out, uh, and we'll continue on. All right, there's the 12 pieces of iron that I want to get ahead of time. We'll head on back to the... Uh, to our laboratory, right? Our basement laboratory. And uh, we'll get this stuff uh, smelted up. I think uh, the tree should be fully grown. So uh, let's see. We're going to put this over here for right now. And let's go ahead and uh, get some more wood going here. We'll put this down. And, you know, just keep the trees going. Uh, looks like I don't have to rewater them. Uh, if you guys know anything, uh, any tips, anything like that, please uh, share them with me. And uh, don't forget, hit the like button. Let me know what you think. Uh, how am I doing? You know, is this a good way to approach it? Uh, I'm just learning the game. I have had, like I said, maybe 20 minutes uh, time on the game before I hit the record button. And uh, in 20 minutes, this is pretty much how I uh, started to see the game evolving. And I said, yeah, maybe, uh, you know, trying to keep up with the wood uh, constantly is going to be a good thing. All right. So we need the wood to smelt this down. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring out all of the iron just by right clicking on here. And once it turns green, uh, you're all set. So we'll throw a, uh, a piece of ore in there. We'll pick up some wood and we'll put the wood in here. And I think if we put a couple of woods in here we can get a couple of uh irons done so uh there's three pieces of wood in there that should uh smelt this up and i'm you know i'm wondering if the more uh fuel you put in it if it uh actually makes it go faster uh right now this is about a two minute wait so what we'll do is we've got our trees going uh we've got uh ore to smelt we've got uh wood here uh, and it's also time to uh, check on our solar panels because I do see my yellow button. My yellow indicator is starting to uh, get up in there. So let's go ahead and clean that off. And that brings that back down. All right. And I think everything that we use, like these items here, all use electricity. So like uh, this one right here that lets us get uh, specific ores, right? This is a drill. I noticed this right off the bat. We can drill for stone and iron for 20 power. You know, I don't know if we have 
20 power, and it's not time to do that. Uh, but I just like to, uh, you know, try to think ahead a little bit. Uh, like I said, you know, I don't script these playthroughs. I'm just seeing the game and reacting to the game as I play the game. And I hope you guys are down for that. And if you're enjoying the uh, video, please don't forget, hit the like button. I would really like to see this uh, be a playable series on the channel. Now, we've got our first ingot. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to drop that. And I'm going to go ahead and grab another one and get this one going. And let me get another one closer here. And drop that right there. Pick this up. Drop it. Pick uh, this up. And then put it in there. All right. So now I've got two bars. And now I need to build the workbench. So I'm going to go ahead and hit B. It's right under the uh, gear icon. And it is a workbench. It needs six logs and two iron. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of put the... Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to put that right here. And just cover that up just like that. And we're going to go ahead and place this in here. And place that. And now we need wood. So we need four pieces of wood. And like I said, we still got to smelt. And this is why I wanted to get ahead, uh, if I could, on the wood. Actually, we need six. I, I misspoke there. Let me correct myself. We need six. Voila. That is done. Let's go ahead and uh, move on. They want us to make a uh, rotating blade disc. So if we hit manufacture, it puts the blueprint right on the uh, bench, which I think is super awesome. Uh, and again, at this point, we're waiting. We're going to get some more ingots here. Let's get some uh, of this a little bit closer so that we can load this up quicker. As soon as this turns into a bar, try to get as much out of this wood as possible is uh, what I'm trying to do here. There we go. This one should be ready to go in a second. There we go. Let's grab this. Let's get rid of it. And let's pick this up, put it in here. And like I said, the uh, the wood is still, is still chugging along there. So I'm going to fill this up. It needs two in order to become a blade. And there we go. Now, I think these are ready. Nope, not quite, not quite. Let's go ahead and now let's build the uh, the saw. So this is what I'd like to get done in this episode. I'd like to get this saw in place, just like this. Now, I can't remember where, I think the wood comes off this way. So I think what we'll do is we'll put this like this and that'll give us a workbench here and our saw here. So let's go ahead and uh, apply this. And now if we go over here, the other piece we need for this is right here. We need the electric saw main block and that takes eight ingots. So we're gonna manufacture that, which is why, is this ready? Yep, this is ready. Let's go ahead and throw a log in here. And we'll throw a log in here because that's gonna, that's gonna keep the fire burning. Let's continue growing. And I think we need four for this one. So let's go ahead and throw these in here and, and keep things going. We got an extra pack of seeds. That's awesome. And we'll use that right there. And that should be that. Okay, so that takes care of that. We got another round of wood going. How's this doing? Very good. Let's drop it down. Let's grab another ingot. So we've got to get all of these uh, smelted. And then we need eight, uh, eight, eight of these in order to uh, continue. Uh, <laughs> got to keep dropping stuff uh, in order to continue on with the, with the uh, table saw. All right. So there's two out of eight. All right. And let's go ahead and move all of this over here. And like I said, if you have any tips, please, please share. And if you want to hang out with us on the Discord, like I said, I'll have a link in the uh, description. And uh, we're just a bunch of uh, average gamers that enjoy uh, simulation games and uh, sharing uh, our thoughts and our uh, strategies, basically. It's a real chill group. And, that, and that's what I like, man. I'm looking for a 
for a place to chill after work. And uh, this is providing me that, being able to hang out with you guys. And if you've been uh, hanging this long on the video, I do appreciate it. I'm trying to show you uh, the first two benches that you need to build in the game. And after that, I am totally clueless, uh, basically. Uh, the next thing we have to do will be uh, me doing it for the first time. So I'm going to keep up with this and I'm going to keep up with this. And you guys let me know what you think. Let me know. Am I doing a, uh, a good job? Is this a, a good approach? Do I, do I have a good system here? Uh, I think I do. Uh, I can always make it better. And if you know any ways of making it better, please, please let me know. Uh, because that's what it's all about. We're doing this together. All right, good. I got another bar. Let's go ahead and throw this bar in there and then we'll quickly pick up another one of these and we're going to get a bar here real quick and we'll go ahead and drop it and grab that and do that and that was smooth as a gravy sandwich man i wish i could play like that all the time uh but that's just luck that was total luck i see that i'm losing a little power i think i'm not sure okay well, you know, it, it looks like it. I know if the yellow bars start to accumulate uh, that something's going on with the uh, with the solar panels. That's all I know. All right, so we've got to get this done. And these will be the last ones we got to get done. And hopefully uh, these trees will be done in time. And uh, I don't know how far we'll be able to get if we need more fuel. Maybe we'll be able to get these smelted without adding fuel. I'm going to go ahead and throw this upstairs. Uh, so if I need it again, this is obviously the only way I have of carrying anything out of the mine. Uh, you know, in bulk. Uh, this way I'm a little bit closer to here. And I've got this ready to go. Just like that. Okay. Okay. So I think it takes like about two minutes. I did time it, and it, it seemed like it came out as a two-minute uh, process for the smelting. Trees, on the other hand, I think are close to eight minutes. If you guys know, uh, if you've taken the time to uh, actually figure out how long some of these uh, resources take to uh, uh, to cook, definitely, uh, definitely let me know. All right, let's pick this up, throw it in there, and then we'll go toss this in here. Just in time to pick this up, drop it, pick this up, plop it, and hopefully we got enough fuel uh, to cook those down. And that's all we need to finish that. And that will give us a table saw. And uh, that's what I'd like to get done. I'd like to get that done. Uh, again, I could just keep playing, man. I mean, I'm digging this uh, to the max. So, yeah, I could just keep going nuts here. But uh, this is... Uh, probably where I want to uh, stop. I want to stop after I get this made and then I want to use it. You know, I want to be able to use it before I end the video and see uh, how it cuts wood. I think that's going to be super interesting and I hope you guys are uh, down for that. All right. So is this going to make it? it will be awesome if I can get this uh, cooked up in, uh, in one batch here without having to sacrifice any of that wood that I've got growing. Uh, I would feel that that's a success. Now those bars do look like they're accumulating. Am I wrong? Do we have any dirt? We do. We do. So I guess once we get past uh, there, right? Okay, so we've got uh, one, two, two and a half bars when everything's cleaned. As soon as we have a third bar that's full, uh, we know it's accumulated enough to come out and tend to it. I'm just trying to figure out the game. I'm learning the game, like I said. You know, all right, we got wood. Awesome. Come on. Is this going to make it? Yes, it made it. Oh, that is sweet, 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 baby. I love that. And that fire is still raging. I wish I had more ore to put in there, but I don't. All right, so we pick this up and we apply this. And bang, man, we got ourselves a saw. Check that out. Now we've got a, should be a switch for it somewhere around here. I think I'm on the wrong end of it. I am. I, I, I put it backwards. There's the switch right there. Okay. All right. Well, I can still get to it. No problem. All right. So let's cut a piece of wood. And uh, let's see what this is all about. Now, 
Uh, maybe you can uh, pick items up, turn them around. I hope so. <laughs> I really do. Maybe that's what that gun is for, uh, to disassemble stuff so that you can reassemble it. But it looks like it's working to this end of the table, so I'll stand right here. And uh, this is awesome, right? I am really, really digging this. Look at this. That is pretty cool. All right, we are squaring this piece of raw lumber. Uh, it's not just turning into uh, a plank. We have to actually uh, shape it into one. All right, I, I, I think that's awesome. You guys let me know what you think. But from what I understand, everybody's digging this uh, quite a bit. So I think uh, what I'm discovering that you guys might already know is uh, how cool this process is. And uh, I'm digging it, man. Look at this. Check this out. So I think it's going to fall on this side or the other side. Probably the other side. We are probably going to have to turn this around at some point. But there we go. Um, I do need to shut this down. So let me shut this down. And uh, I think what we'll do is we'll call this uh, right here. I've got to go ahead and put this in the ground, get it growing. And uh, yeah, so that's my uh, that's my method uh, to start the game. Uh, you guys let me know what you think. And uh, all comments are welcome. And like I said, if you want to hang out with us on the Discord, uh, there'll be a link in the description. And uh, please don't forget, hit that like button. We're a new channel. I'm not trying to be the biggest channel in the world. I'm not, I'm not about that. I'm just looking for a, a good, solid community that uh, can give me good feedback on these games. All right, so until the next episode, everybody, ta-ta and bye-bye.